Investigators say the shooting happened at the Rivertown Commons Plaza, and it happened just a couple feet away from the Safeway where many people were shopping. And we also found out that many people were ducking for cover after they heard those bullets. Forest Heights Police and Prince George's County Police officers were scattered throughout this Oxon Hill parking lot on Monday night after investigators say a Forest Heights officer fired his weapon at a suspect after a traffic stop on Oxon Hill Road. When I heard the, the gunshots, I was like very surprised because that was like legit the first time I've ever heard gunshots in my life. A nearby worker was inside at the time of the shooting and says she heard the commotion outside. About three or four shots. And then a couple, like, I mean, obviously a couple people were screaming a little bit. And then you could hear um, the ambulance come. Investigators say several Forest Heights police officers were alerted to a car that was suspected in an assault in another area yesterday afternoon. Forest Heights police say the officers stopped the vehicle after noticing it was the car wanted in connection with the assault. When the suspect stepped out of the car, police say the officer initially noticed the knife but was later determined to be a silver-colored multi-tool. Police say the officer ordered the suspect to put the tool down. During the encounter with the armed suspect, one officer discharges his duty issue weapon, striking the suspect. The man was taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. The suspect was identified as Jamari Devante, and he has been charged with possession of a dangerous weapon. News 4 has learned that the shooting was recorded by body camera video. News 4 asked investigators when the body camera video would be released, but was not given an answer. The shooting remains under investigation by Prince George's County Police. In Prince George's County, Dominique Moody, News 4.